people do not understand the power of relationships. I've been on a dozen covers. Mm -hmm. The first time I was on the cover of Muscle and Fitness had nothing to do with my body. It didn't because there are a billion people out there mm. that probably look way better than I do with their shirt off. I can accept that. No mm. problem. I'm fine where I'm at. But I remember reaching out to editors, becoming friends with them, bringing them in. All I was focusing on was their training. They went to pay me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got to do something for you. No, you don't. Don't worry about it. I just, I liked hanging out with the people. They were good people. We had good conversations. One of my good friends, Sean Perrine, who who passed away a few years ago. He, the first cover of Muscle and Fitness I got on was the last cover he chose oh, wow. before he passed away. We had, I had a meeting with him. He thought he had pneumonia in October. He was dead of cancer in December. Mm. Wow. And it was the last cover that he chose. And that cover was not because I won, you know, classic physique. No, right? That cover was because I, they wanted to see me win. Yeah. And they wanted to see me win because I went in there with a good approach and I just wanted to help people. That has been my business plan, seriously. And that's yeah. what most people are forgetting out there. They want, what's my session rate? Because the session rate doesn't matter. Yeah. I can go through my session rates. People would be like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. You charge $100, you raise your rate to $125, that'll wear off in about a year. Yeah. You won't feel significant anymore. You're not going to be happy about that. There's, you know, with me, it needed to be more. And for you, it needed, to, you were making, you, you, yeah. you, you were crushing it. Yeah. Right? You were talking about it. You weren't feeling fulfilled. Yeah. So we got to start asking ourselves, what are we doing this for? Otherwise, you're going to be one of those coaches yeah. that's sitting here at 56 years old, continue to do the same shit. You know what, Don? I got to add to that, though, yeah. because someone's going to hear you and they're going to hear, okay, so if I want to get more from people, I got to go and just give them free stuff. It's gotta be, but it is, unconditional. It's got to be genuine, though. Unconditional. got to be genuine. That's though. right, because you're not going into it thinking, no. this guy's going to give me- yeah. I'm know. looking back on this now going, wow. That's I, right. I, so my buddy, John, who's I just told you 100 pounds, I'm not charging John. Why am I doing this? John can't give me anything. Mm. Laura can't give me anything but satisfaction. They, the only thing they can give me is fulfillment for me doing that. And you know what? If something good happens of it, fine. That's now, not why You're I'm sharpening doing. your sword. The way I said it in the, the meeting was I said, listen, I- I go with that same attitude with relationship building. I recognize I'm going to give the shirt off my back to ten people, and nine of them aren't going to do shit. That's just how it is. That's how it happens. And you and you got it. You got to expect that and not care because you're not doing it to get something in return. But one out of those ten people, you fundamentally change their life, and they become your cheerleader for the rest. You just stole my line because I was going to say my batting average the probably is terrible. <laughs> it's probably probably batting under a hundred with the amount of free stuff I've given, and but I'm fine. I'm fine with. You know the nine out of ten people turning. If you're not fine with it, then you're then you, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Because yeah. if you're going to sit there and you're going to be bitter that someone did not just do it because you think that it's worth investing. But, but into. let me add to that too, because uh, that passion that you have, which I, I, I could it resonates right, that passion that you have mm -hmm. is what drove you for those four years after two thousand eight when you went from crushing it to nothing. Yeah, and someone may be thinking, how the hell did you last? Four years. And by the way, if you hadn't done those four years, you wouldn't be where you're at right now. No. Or now you're killing it. You're crushing it all over the place. What drove you was this belief and this passion and what right. you did. Right. So that's the value. The value is it's going to get you through those tough things. Right. And it's going to bring, and it's going to bring you that, that, uh, that, that meaning into what right. you do. Otherwise it's worthless. Right. I also had a lot of help. Mm. Right. And that's something I think a lot of us are afraid to admit. Like, I'm, guys, I'm not self-made. Like, like I hear people yeah. talk about self-made. I don't even know what that means. Like I, I, I don't because every person I've ever spoken to, Calvin Klein, you know, I can go through some of the biggest names that, that we know globally. They've had some sort of help. They've had someone believe in them. They had someone give them an opportunity. Maybe it was an uncle that lent them 50 grand to get something started. Maybe it was something. Mm -hmm. I've gotten a lot of help. When I was in that trouble, the fact that a group of people turned around and gave me a million dollars, they knew the risk. They didn't do that because they didn't like me. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of help. So along the way, it's it, it's okay if you're, I, I've had coaches that have actually burned bridges with me because they've wanted to prove they can do it on their own. Because when they left drive, oh, I can do this. F him. I don't, I don't need him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And you know what? <laughs> Fine. Then I turned around and some of the biggest names in Hollywood, I didn't hand to them. And then they came up to me years later and they were like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, dude, it's fine. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. Like, we're all we're all doing our best here, man. Like, it's yeah. it's it's like mm -hmm. I made a ton of bad mistakes, 
you know, I'm sure you everyone did in this room. It is what it is. Yeah, but the yeah. power. The I mean, I you know that's a thing we you and I have definitely in common. Yeah. Is I value relationships so much, and so much of the success of this business that nobody knows about behind the scenes is built off of all the relationships that we right. have. And what's beautiful about learning this early when you're young is it compounds. Mm -hmm. yeah. So even though you're batting 10%, you yeah. know, one out of 10 yeah. and, you, and nine people don't do shit for you, that's a lot of work for not very much return. Right. But that one person becomes a, a lifelong cheerleader for you. And then, you know, you go through another 10 and you get one more of those and then you get one more of those. And then 10 years goes by and you got a hundred of those people that are rooting for you and truly yeah. want to see you successful. And they don't just do it once, they do it forever because of how much you fundamentally changed their life or what you've done for them without expecting anything in return and then one day you wake up and you're 40 something years old and you got a lot of people that you know will, would take care of you yeah hopefully